Hey, Chef Jason Hill here, and tonight for dinner I am making one of my all-time favorite comfort foods, meatloaf. I do it a little different. I use ground turkey in place of the beef, a little healthier, and we are going to dress this up with a great creamy horseradish sauce. I've got my pan preheating on medium-high heat. I'm going to put in about two tablespoons of canola oil, my half an onion, fine dice, actually carrots, onion, celery, mirepoix and two carrots, two celery. Cook this for about five to seven minutes. All right, at this point you can see the onions have started to cook down a little bit and celery and carrot too. Here's where I like to add the herbs. Got the dried oregano. Kind of break it up with your fingers as you add it. And we're gonna do two tablespoons. Two tablespoons of the fresh rosemary chopped up. I don't really like to use dried rosemary too much because I find it really hard to soften up in recipes, so I like to use the fresh. You can use fresh oregano here if you want, but my herb garden is under snow right now. So. <laughs> All right, now let's get our garlic in here. I've got my garlic shallot puree, good healthy tablespoon. Or stir that in there really good. You want to cook this until you start to smell the aroma of the herbs coming off of there. Well, probably another couple of minutes. Okay, after about seven to ten minutes of cooking down your mirepoix, I just transfer it to a plate to let it cool. And you can even put your plate in the refrigerator to make it cool a little faster if you want. Here's how I like to do it. I have 20 ounces of regular ground turkey and then I also mix in 20 ounces of sweet Italian turkey sausage. Okay, as much as I hate to do this, I gotta do this. I gotta remove the casings. Please keep all inappropriate comments to yourself. <laughs> it just peels right off. Okay, I'll drop those in there. Good thing Jack, my buddy Jack's not here to comment on this scene. <laughs> After the turkey, I like to add one and about two-thirds cup of breadcrumbs. I use panko, which is the Japanese breadcrumb, but you can use any breadcrumb you prefer, of course. We have ketchup, half a cup, followed by two tablespoons of minced chopped up sun-dried tomato in oil. Three quarter cup of shredded mozzarella cheese. About a half a cup of shredded fresh grated Parmesan. Quarter cup of cream, heavy cream. Two large eggs. And then our one and a half teaspoon of fresh ground pepper. One and a half teaspoons of kosher salt. Here's the fun part. You gotta get your hands dirty. Get in here and mix this up. Or if you don't wanna do this and you have kids in the house, you can put them to work. Kids love this kind of stuff. Ooh, it's squishy. Ooh, it feels weird. <laughs> Now that this is starting to come together, we're gonna mix in the vegetables. All right, I like to divide this up into two loaves because one I turn into a spicy version for my wife and I, and the other one I keep non-spicy for the kids. And if you wanted to split them up into two loaves, you can even freeze one and use it later on, you know, a week or two down the road. All right, let me show you how I make up my loaves. I like to take restaurant quality plastic wrap and I pull off about two feet in length. Give it a little spray of nonstick cooking spray. And like I said, we're going to use about half of the mixture. I'll try and get it about as even as possible so that way you have even loaf. Okay. And I just fold over one side, roll it, 
and then twist the ends. Okay, get that nice and tight. Transfer it over to a sheet of aluminum foil. Roll this one up. Give it a good twist on each end. It's ready for the oven. Now, like I said, I make the second one spicy. You can either add a tablespoon or two of your favorite hot sauce. I like to use red pepper flakes. I'm going to mix this in there. I've got a tablespoon here. Next, I grab a sheet pan. This one happens to be well seasoned. <laughs> and we're going to place our loaves on the pan. Now I'm going to place these in my preheated 350 degree oven for about an hour to hour and 15 minutes. And we can check the temperature on to make sure they're at 165. All right. There we go. Okay, I'm going to check these at an hour and 15 minutes. I'm gonna make sure my internal temperature reaches 165 or above. Don't wanna to go too much over 165. Oh yeah, 160, 165, 170. They're ready. After I let it rest on the counter, enough to where you can touch it and not burn yourself, it's time to unwrap it and transfer it to the cutting board. Then I just cut them about, oh, an inch medallions for plate up. All right, tonight I am serving these with my rustic skin on garlic mashed potatoes. Got a couple of medallions there. A little bit of bok choy. Dress it up. Hey, and we can't forget our wonderful horseradish cream sauce. Well, I hope you enjoy my turkey meatloaf recipe as much as we do. And as always, thanks for tubing in. Mmm. Really good. Is it good, kids? Yeah. <laughs> See? <laughs>